One thing people often want to do is to add tables to their cards. And unfortunately, it's not a simple thing to do in Anki. So I've got two things that you can do to get your tables in your cards relatively simply, but I can't promise it's that quick. So the first thing is to go into a tool like Excel, um, where you can create a table of content. So I keep an Excel spreadsheet which contains pretty much all the tables that I've built to put into Anki. And I've got some content here which I'll make a little bit prettier or format it as a table. Um, maybe change the wrapping of the cells and get rid of the filter indicators at the top there. So I've got a table that's relatively easy to read and so I'll use the snipping tool which is a screen capture tool that I actually covered in an earlier video on using images in Anki and I'm going to use that to basically take a screenshot of the table to turn it into an image. So once I've got that I can take it and paste it into my card. So that's relatively quick. Uh, but one of the problems is that any of the text that's in that table is not searchable in Anki. So if you want to make tables that are searchable in Anki, you can do one of two things. You can add some key text down the bottom. So maybe I want to be able to search on transporters, which is a little bit of rework. Another thing you can do is to take that table you've created in Excel and go to a site which will convert that information to what's called an HTML table. And that's some code that you can paste into your uh, Anki card which will create a searchable table. So the site that I'm going to here is called tablesgenerator.com. I'll put a link to it in the description of this clip. Uh, but basically what it enables you to do is to take the data you've copy, copied from Excel, paste it in, and so now you've got that text formatted as an HTML table. It has some neat tools for, again, making that information a little prettier. So we can add some grid lines, we can add some alternate um, row colors, and so again, we've got something that looks fairly nice for inclusion in our card. Uh, at this section of the site, you can see you click on compact mode, hit generate, and then copy that information to the clipboard. What that's done is put it in the clipboard so you can then go into Anki. So we're back in our card. I've got my cursor highlighted on the back. And along the right hand side, you'll see that there's a drop down in the edit uh, part of this window. And you can select edit HTML. If I do that, we're going into the underlying code in which our text is represented in Anki. So most of the time, there's no reason for you to have a look at this. But if you're entering tables, and, and then in the next clip, we'll look at adding a hyperlink, then you will need to go into this view. So we're in this view. I'm going to paste in whatever it was that was copied uh, to our clipboard from that website. And I'm going to go close. And there you go. We've got a nice table which is entirely searchable now in our card. Another thing is that we can now uh, edit the text that's in that card. So if we, want, if we found a spelling error, we could change that spelling error. And that's automatically updated. If you don't want to go to the trouble of making fully searchable tables, uh, then, then another thing to just make sure you do if you're using the image uh, table process is to make sure you save the table that you created in Excel. That way if you find you've made a spelling error or you want to add a little bit of more content to it, you can change the content in Excel and then just screen grab uh, that new content as an image and repaste it back into Anki.